Much has already been said online about the A10 Mini, so this isn't going to be an unboxing, a review or a tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to look at how I'm thinking of using the A10 Mini linked up with the vMix production software and what great features that could bring to a small, low-cost production. For those of you that have missed it, the A10 Mini is a 4-input HDMI vision mixing panel that's breaking new boundaries and revolutionising the capabilities of low-budget video production. It's a 4-input HDMI switcher with scalers on each input, DVE and keying capabilities, and an HDMI and USB-C H.264 output that can be seen by a computer like a webcam and directly accessed by production software like Wirecast, OBS and vMix. Working with this fairly mid-range laptop like this i5 model that's a few years old now, it can pair up and add some extremely useful functionality. Firstly, you can now connect to the ATEM control software over a USB link. Something that I feel is a real bonus, especially for those who don't have any great understanding of networking, but also as a secondary way of connecting to the computer. I've had ATEM units where the ethernet connection has gone down in the past while out in a job, rendering the switcher useless. That's why I always like to have at least two switches in my main PPU rack as a fallback. Connecting over USB means you can use a laptop to stream the output and still have an HDMI output that you can connect for monitoring or recording separately. The vMix software can do many of the same things as the switcher, like scaling and switching, as well as recording, titling and streaming. You need a pretty powerful laptop to do all of those functions from one machine when you're using multiple inputs. So I prefer to spread the load and use vMix as kind of like a toolbox, picking and choosing features of it that fit any given production. This makes an excellent setup for streaming as you can take the USB or HDMI input via a capture card into the laptop and use vMix to stream to Facebook, YouTube or just about any other CDN. But you can also add captions at this point, use it to play out video content and record the output. In this setup I'm taking an HD SDI feed from a camera, through a Blackmagic SDI to HDMI converter, looping through a small inexpensive monitor and into an input on the A10 Mini. I can add other inputs and switch between them, use chroma key or picture in picture. And the USB output is feeding straight into my laptop as a vMix input. I'm also taking an HDMI feed from the ATEM through an old Hyperdeck shuttle recording onto SSD and again looping through a small monitor. That way I'm not relying on the computer resources for recording or switching and the laptop can just concentrate on outputting the stream to the internet. We can see here that the CPU usage and loading on the laptop is well within the recommended limits and therefore shouldn't pose a particular problem outputting a continuous stream, providing the internet connection is up to it. It is interesting to note that the USB input does take slightly more resource than the HDMI input coming in through an external capture device. I believe this is because the USB output is in a compressed H.264 format and the laptop has to do a little extra work to process that. If you see my previous video on using vMix with the ATEM switcher, you will see that I've used this configuration the other way round, sending captions and graphics from vMix into an ATEM input and keying those onto the video within the switcher. So between these two devices, there's plenty of provision to adapt for many different scenarios or react if something isn't working quite as it should be. And when you're working on a live event, it's really important to have a certain degree of redundancy in case something stops working as it should do. 
I'm sure there'll be many other creative uses that people will come up with for using the ATEM Mini with vMix, so we'd love to hear about any of them down in the comments. I hope you found this video useful and it's helped you to come up with some ideas of how you might use products like this together in your own productions. So do drop any questions or feedback in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and I'll endeavour to keep coming up with technical videos on this and other products to help you with your productions.